Good afternoon. I am uh, Maria Teresa Voso, and I am a professor of hematology at Torregatta University in Rome, Italy. I have been working in the field of uh, acute myeloid leukemias and myeloid dysplastic syndromes for uh, over 20 years. I, uh, I am specialized with my lab and my colleagues in the molecular diagnosis of MDS and AML and in the treatment of these settings. At the recent EHA meeting in Madrid, uh, I presented an abstract on uh, some analysis of a trial uh, which was designed to study the effect of maintenance treatment uh, with a new drug, which is uh, an oral formulation of azocytidine, which is a hypomethylating agent. And this drug has been tested in acute myeloid leukemias uh, following uh, induction with or without consolidation treatment as maintenance. Uh, this uh, the trial, which was the Quasar uh, trial, showed that uh, using maintenance after the chemotherapy is associated with improved uh, relapse-free survival and improved overall survival in patients who received uh, oral isocytidine as uh, opposed to pat patients who were randomized in the controlled arm and uh, received caffeine. Uh, the sub-analysis I presented at EHA uh, concentrates on a specific subtype of acute myeloid leukemia, uh, which is defined according to WHO 2008, 2002 and 2008, sorry, and 2016, as AML-MRC. MRC is test for myelodysplasia-related changes, and these are new Leukemias that onset after a previous history of the myelodysplastic syndrome or the myelodysplastic myeloproliferative syndrome, such as chronic myelomonocytic leukemias. And these diseases are characterized by a genetic background uh, which is unfavorable, and they have generally uh, they are generally consi considered. Uh, unfavorable subtypes of uh, AMI. Uh, so the sub-analysis using the oral azocytidine, 300 milligrams for 14 days versus placebo in this AML MRC patient group showed uh, that uh, that the disease, that uh, the drug was able to improve uh, relapse-free survival. In these patients, that means that um, patients receiving oral, azo oral azocytidine had a delayed relapse of the disease, uh, as opposed uh, to patients who uh, received uh, placebo. And uh, this was uh, even more clear when censoring patients for uh, allogenic uh, stem cell transplantation. In general, uh, these patients had inferior prognosis as opposed to uh, patients who did not have this subtype of AML, so were considered, were defined as AML non MRC. Uh, and uh, although also in you know in the comparison, oral ESA showed uh, a less unfavorable outcome also for uh, AML. Uh, as we know, we have a measure of the efficacy of treatment, which is uh, measurable residual disease. And this can be assessed using flow cytometry in patients with AML. And the disease can be followed using uh, MRD studies. Uh, and uh, we can have um, a measure of efficacy of the drugs patients who become MRD negative, so where the clone is no longer detectable using flow cytometry. Uh, in this trial, uh, we were able to show that patients receiving oral ASM were more likely to achieve MRD negativity uh, as opposed to patients who 
uh, did not receive oral ESA and were treated with the placebo. And the duration of MRD negativity was longer uh, in patients receiving more or less CITD. So, in general, what we can say from this trial is that uh, the, the, the drug oral ASA is has efficacy also in, a, in, this, in the negative prognostic group of patients with AML and MRC and prolongs um, the time to, to relapse, prolongs overall survival, and also prolongs uh, MRD negativity. And uh, and by by doing this, uh, patients um, of course have a, a new uh, we have a new tool uh, in patients, especially in patients who are not candidates for allergenic stem cell transplantation. Uh, and this is indeed one of the first time that we can uh, say that we have another a, a strong or a good drug uh, in the maintenance of treatment of, treat of uh, patients with uh, treatment.